Hi everyone, this is Sultan with Rex Theme, and in this video, I'll show you how you can include the variant term of a variable product to the product name when generating a product feed using Product Feed Manager for WooCommerce. So let's get started. Now, as you can see, I have a product in my store called Exclusive Gift Boxes, and this one has two variations. One is the Pink Heaven, and the other one is the Golden Glory. All right. So these two are variations, but they're both under the same product exclusive gift boxes. So now when you generate a feed for this, you'll see that for the both the variants, the name will be the same exclusive gift boxes. Let me just show you. As you can see, I have the plugin product feed manager for WooCommerce installed and activated on my site. And uh, to create a new feed, I need to click on add new feed. And once I do that, it will take me to this page where I have to create a brand new feed. So initially I need to configure this options. Let me just give it a name called test. And the rest of the options is usually configured properly for most of the merchants. So the, for most of the merchants you generate feed for, you don't even need to make any changes here. All right. So for now in this video, I'm not going to make any changes here. Let's just scroll down to the feed configuration section. And let's say I'm generating a feed for Google Shopping. Okay. So once I choose Google Shopping, uh, all the mandatory attributes will appear below. Uh, I'm not making any exclusive uh, configuration here. I have a separate video to show you how, how to do that. For now, I'm going to focus on showing how to include the variant name to the product name. All right. So let me just publish this feed. And once the feed is generated, you'll get the option to view the feed. So let me click on view feed. And you can see that I have a feed with that product. Uh, since this is a test site, I've only included one product, which is a variable product with two variations. Now, as you can see, for both the variations, the title is the same. The only way to differentiate between the two products is the link. You can see here, uh, the selected attribute is the box color called Pink Heaven. And for the second product, the attribute is box color Golden Glory. Other than that, there is almost no way to differentiate between the two products. Okay. Now, in this case, to optimize this feed and to make each variant uh, unique in terms of product title as well, you can include the variant term in the product title. And it's really easy to do. Let me just go back to the feed settings. And here, in this options, you'll see there's one option called include variation product name. So usually your margins don't require you to submit the variant term with the product title but if you include that uh, in most marketplaces it's actually better for getting attention of the buyers so let me just mark it as yes and now let me update the feed now once the feed is updated let me just view the feed and here you can see that it's the same two products uh, but you'll see that the variant term is added to the title of the product. So both of them are not called exclusive gift boxes. They actually have the variant term beside them. So uh, when this is there, people will know that these are different products and this will be more attractive uh, for buyers. Those who want a pink gift box, they might want to go into this product. Those who want a golden uh, gift box, they'll go into this one. So that's it. That's how easily you can include the variant term of a variable product in WooCommerce uh, to the product title when generating a product feed. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you in one of my future videos. Take care.